Hi guys, it's Dan here from Montaigne and I'm out in the beautiful Ullswater Valley today, just on the Ullswater Way and I'm here to talk to you about the Montaigne Azote 32 litre and women's Azote 30 litre packs. Now they are lightweight, functional and extremely comfortable and they've got loads of room so they're great for those lightweight overnighters or those long days in the mountains. Now from using them myself, I know that the Azotes are really generous when it comes to room, but they're still really lightweight and durable. So they're perfect for that hiking, walking, backpacking, and even traveling. Now the Azotes have an adjustable back length, so they'll fit a wide range of people and they come in a couple of different colors. Now stick with us as we take you through the materials, features, and back system of the Montaigne Azote 32 liter and women's 30 liter packs. Okay, so first we're going to look at the materials. Now, throughout the main of this pack, we have a Raptor Eco 100 Denier aerobic nylon fabric, which is lightweight, it's durable, and it's really quick drying as well. So it can really handle the scuffs and scrapes, whether you're on the mountains or on the trail. Now there is 78% recycled nylon in there and 22% polyester. So we've really tried to put that recycled content in there to make this a little bit more environmentally friendly. Now, as we move around to the back, you'll find our Contact Air Mesh Eco, which is made from 35% recycled polyester. Now, this has got this great honeycomb structure and it allows moisture to move away from the body and also for air to circulate as well. This means that it's breathable, fast drying, and it keeps you exceptionally comfortable for those multiple days or those fast and light days out in the mountains. Throughout the rest of the back, then you'll find our Contact Open Mesh. Now this open mesh simply is to allow moisture to move away from the body and again for air to circulate really freely. Moving that moisture away means that it reduces rubbing and again keeps you more comfortable. Around the back of that you'll find a nice foam padding as well and the same through the shoulder straps and this just means that you can stay comfortable for longer and keeps those items that might be a little bit uncomfortable in your pack away from your back. The last thing you'll find on this pack is our stretch mesh down the side and on the front. Our stretch mesh we use across a lot of our packs, whether that's our running packs, or our trailblazers, it's really, really good. It's really strong, but it means that you can keep stuffing things into those pockets and it will sort of stretch and stretch and stretch, but it also means that it holds it nice and securely. Okay, so now onto the features. Now, there's a lot to go through here, but thankfully it's all externally. So in the big main compartment to start with, it is just one big open main compartment. This means you can pack this pack the way you want it to. And it doesn't mean there's any kind of pockets or internal things getting in the way. So now, starting from the top and the outside, we have a zipped lid pocket here. This is brilliant for putting things in like maps, compasses, snacks, maybe an extra layer. As we move down, this lid is also detachable, so you can extend it and detach it. This means that you can overload the bag if you wanted to, but then also remove it if you wanted to get rid of this lid. On the inside of the lid, you'll find another zipped security pocket, and this has got a little key clip in it as well, so it means you can just keep those valuables tucked out of the way. As we move on the inside then, you'll find a Bivy style cord cinch, which you can just pull that close and then tuck the rest of the cord on the inside of the pack so it stays out of the way. As we're moving down the pack, on the side, you will see that we have compression straps. Now, compression straps are really important because it means that you can pull the load into yourself and you can secure all your items in there as well. These ones also double up as well. So if you were to loosen the compression strap, then you have an extra loop just tucked on the side here. And this helps to put your walking poles through, tent poles and something you'd like to store on the inside, and maybe store just a little bit separately. Moving down, we have two one pockets. Now these are made out of stretch mesh and these are brilliant. So you can stuff more and more and more stuff in there. And that's whether it's extra layers, it will take something as big as a water bottle, but really good for stashing things down the side on the outside of the pack. Down the front, we have another stretch mesh pocket. Now this is a huge pocket and it's perfect for putting things in like a wet tent outer, a wet waterproof, or just something you need access to really quickly. And all you need to do is lift the loop and it unhooks and you can stash all your wet waterproofs or just your extra layers in there. 
The benefit of having a loop on this front pocket, this means if you are wearing gloves, particularly in the winter, it just means you can unhook that a little bit easier. And also there's nothing to get caught or nothing to get frozen up or dirt in there as well. Moving down to the bottom, you will see this loop here. Now this is for walking poles. So you can put your walking poles through there, double it back, and then they can just fit either through the straps up here or the compression straps on the side. As we move around to the back of it, you'll see that we have hip fin pockets here. Now it's kind of part of the back system. We'll talk about that soon, but the hip fin pockets are perfect for storing those extra snacks, for that compass, for your phone, for something you want quick access to where you don't want to take the pack off. So these also are made out of stretch mesh on the side and then that lovely nylon material on the top so that just the items in there will be a bit more protected. Finally, as we move around to the back and if you look down the back of the pack, you'll find an external bladder pocket. Now I love an external bladder pocket because it means you don't have to root around inside your pack or move items around to refill that water. And there is a little bladder loop to hook your bladder on as well so it doesn't slide down when you're walking along. Okay, so now we're gonna look at the back system on the Azote packs. Now, this back system is designed for multi-day, fast-paced activities. So that means that you have all the comfort and functionality you would expect, but with that nice, lightweight Montane construction. Now, we've already looked at the materials in the back system, but we're going to look at this Zephyr AD adjustable back system. This means that you can adjust the length of the back, and you do that by lifting this Velcro pad. It means you can go from small at 40 centimeters to medium at 45 centimeters all the way to large at 53 centimeters on the women's 30 liter azote pack the adjustments go from small at 38 medium at 43 and then large at 48 centimeters on the back so once you've adjusted that back length you can place the pad back down and you're all ready to go if you place the pack on your back and then firstly adjust the shoulder straps now this will lift the pack into position so it will lift the load onto your back once that's nice and secure, then we can move on to the hip belt. If you clip this shut by the buckle on the front, and then it can be adjusted by these tags on the side. If you notice that the hip belt is attached firstly to the harness, so that will bring the pack into you, but then one of the straps comes down the side and then holds onto the pack as well. So it's not just the harness that's attached to you, but the, it's all pulling the weight round of the pack as well. So it creates a really, really stable fit. Once you've done that, as you move up, you will see that we have a Montane click and go chest strap. Now you can do this up nice and easy. It just clicks across and then you can release it by pulling the small cord as well. Once you've got the pack in position, you might find you want to pull the pack in a little bit tighter or you want to move over some difficult ground and you want a bit more stability. So we have these load adjusters on the shoulders as well. Now, once you get the pack on, you pull those in, you'll find it brings the weight of the pack closer into your body and just gives you that little bit more stability. As we said before, this whole back system has been designed to be comfortable for multiple days, whether you're hiking or mountaineering. You'll notice that there is foam through the back and we have extra cushioning through the shoulder straps as well, so you can stay really, really comfortable. Okay guys, that's everything from me on the Montane Azote 32 litre pack and the women's specific 30 litre pack as well. They are versatile without compromise and designed to be a great go-to, do anything, go anywhere pack for that core outdoor user, whether you're on long days in the mountains or going on those minimalist lightweight overnighters. Now, because of that Zephyr AD adjustable back system, these are available in one size, but you can adjust the back system to get that nice customizable fit for you. They're available in a couple of colors and on our website. But otherwise, that's everything from me, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.